okay this is crypto mano and this is my content on this video i'll be showing you how to create an account on trust wallet now to do that the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the app if you don't you simply need to download the app first so if you're using an android phone you simply go to your phone's play store search for trust wallet download if you're using an iphone go to your phone's app store search for trust wallet and download so here it is here it is now I'm on my phone's app store and i want to like create a new trust wallet account so the first thing i need to do is boxing come to the search space here boxing the words trust wallet click on search the result pops up yeah this is it trust wallet the one you're supposed to download you click on it you download so i've downloaded mine already now i'm just trying to show you how to create a new trust wallet account so we've downloaded the app and then we're about to create the account. First thing you need to do is click on open right here. Click on open to open the app account and you'll be met, uh, sorry, met with a new page. And as you can see on this page, it says create new wallet and I already have a new, uh, sorry, I already have a wallet. So create a new wallet is what you click on if you're trying to create a wallet on Trust Wallet for the first time, for example. And I already have a wallet is what you click on if you're trying to import your existing Trust Wallet account. So now on this video, we're trying to, you know, create a new wallet on Trust Wallet. So you simply click on this bar right here, create a new wallet. And then you see it says back up your wallet now. So in the next step, you will see 12 words that would allow you recover a wallet. So now what this simply means is, okay, take for example, you've opened, you don't need your email and password or something to open a Trust Wallet account. You're trying to create a new Trust Wallet account. 12 words will be given to you. 12 unique words. Unique words that only apply to your Trust Wallet account alone. To that particular Trust Wallet account you're trying to create. So these 12 words will help you recover the wallet. In the case whereby you lose your phone, your phone gets hacked and all sorts, all sorts, all sorts or anything happens and for some reason you can't access your, your Trust Wallet and you're trying to access it on a new phone, for example. All you have to do is just download trust wallet on the new phone and then box in your 12 words so these 12 words now will allow you recover the wallet so it says i understand that if i lose my recovery words i will not be able to access my wallet now what this simply means in simpler terms is take for example if someone manages to lay hands on those 12 words i for example if i happen to lay hands on those 12 words i'll be able to access your account you don't need an email or password to create an account or trust wallet. So if I want to access your account, all I need is just to lay hands on those 12 words. Trust wallet won't send a code to your phone number or to your email to confirm that you're the one logging in. As long as the person trying to log in has access to those 12 words, trust wallet is assuming that yes, you're the one trying to access your phones. So if you somehow lose them or your you lose your access to your or trust wallet account and then you're unable to find those 12 words or someone else lays hands on them or for some reason, you just can't find the trust, um, the 12 words. That account is practically gone. Like, just forget about it. So now, after, see, after, after understanding all that, all you have to do is just proceed to click on. I understand that if I lose my record, uh, recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet again. Now, don't miscontrol these words. Yeah, don't, don't, don't misinterpret it. Yeah, if you happen to happen, you, you write the words down somewhere. You write the words down somewhere, and then you lose maybe you write it down on a piece of paper and then you lose the paper if there's some way you still have those words saved good for you but if the only means of storage you have for those words is gone you've lost probably the piece of paper you wrote it on or it gets wiped off or you, you took a screenshot of it and for some reason you can't find it it's gone so but if you have it written on three pieces of paper for example and you happen to lose just one of the pieces of paper and you still have it saved on two other pieces of paper you're still good to go I know this is common knowledge, but I just have to, you know, take my time to, you know, break all these things down because this is a very delicate issue here. So now the next thing is to proceed on, proceed to click on. I understand that if I lose my recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. Click on continue. Now here you have it, the 12 words. So this is, it's, your, it's called your recovery phrase, yeah? So it says your recovery phrase, write down or copy these words in the right order and save them somewhere else. Now, never share, as you can see, it says never share recovery phrase with anyone. Store it securely. So now what I'm going to do is take a picture of this right here. Because I'm going to need it to, you know. So 
what I'm going to do is take a picture of this and then take a picture of this so it will help me you know okay yeah we're good to go so you click on copy right here as you can see you click on copy of copied it and then you click on continue now it will ask you to tap in the word to put them next to each other in the correct order the correct order it was given to you you type in the words right here so this is trust wallet now it's just more like a verification process before you complete the whole thing this is trust wallet trying to like you know test you somewhat you do the verification and then you proceed to the next step so now having taken a screenshot or sorry i took i took a picture of this those words to help me you know bypass this process you can actually write yours down or for some reason find a way to copy it down somewhere and then as you can see so now it says tap the words to put them next to each other in the correct order now the first word yeah okay 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 yes 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 click on continue as you can see your wallet was successfully created if you happen to input those words the wrong way it won't go through the exact order so the thing i did to help me by do not leave that particular do not leave it on your phone do not leave it on your phone so you can choose to write yours down or copy it and paste it on your notepad or just find a way to you know bypass that process and then keep that particular information safe now once you've done that you can see every other process you can see you now have your own personal um wallet address if you want to receive that for btc just like every other wallet you have for ethereum bnb bnb smart chain and uh, every other wallet so for a, for a particular coin that you're looking for that is not available on this um home page here you can just click on this part right here this icon right here click on it search for the coin you're looking for take for example we already have btc eth bnb and smart chain bnb take for example we want to enable litecoin you just search for litecoin and then enable it right here. you click on it as you can see this is ltc litecoin you turn it on click on done right here click on done as you can see it's now on the home page so you can easily disable anyone you don't want appearing on the home page you can just swipe right you can see disable swipe right from right to left disable swipe from right to left disable swipe from right to left uh, disable so this is crypto manual over and out